Action in Boulder County, Colorado, wildfires moving with blinding speed, wiping out two communities in just a matter of hours. As many as 1,000 homes fear damage or destroyed the fires fueled by hurricane force wind gusts topping 100 miles per hour. Families given almost no notice to get out, many driving through the flames to find safety. The governor saying it's a miracle no one died. President Biden promising federal aid as the same area is now bracing for up to half a foot of snow. Here's ABC's Will Carr in Colorado. Tonight, the worst possible combination of drought and wind fueling Colorado's most destructive wildfire on record. This is our community and to watch it burn so quickly, so unexpectedly, uh, is something that I think we're all just struggling to believe and understand. Apocalyptic devastation, entire neighborhoods wiped from the map. The fire was moving basically at the same speed of the wind. Those winds gusting to hurricane force, pushing flames right into the towns of Superior and Louisville outside Boulder. Some 34,000 running for their lives. God help us. Drivers unable to see through the smoke as flames jump the road. Parents crushing kids out of Chuck E. Cheese. Shoppers fleeing this Costco into a hellscape. These images taken from inside a Vista hospital, more than 50 patients evacuated. Firefighters desperately trying to save homes through the night. The scale of the devastation visible as the sun rose. Officials fear as many as 1,000 homes could be destroyed. After flames devoured the Element Hotel Thursday, this is all that remains. The governor surveying the damage from the air. It was a uh, suburban and urban fire. The Costco we all shop at, the Target, uh, we buy our kids clothes at, um, all surrounded uh, and damaged. Tonight, with their bags packed, so many waiting for word on their homes, including Dale Roy and his wife, Jan. I think our house is okay, but other people we know probably their house burned and you Thanks. really feel bad for them. Oh, well, you hold my smell, sir. Tonight, with the cause of the fire under investigation, you can see snow has started to blanket this area. That's knocked the flames out, but there's still tens of thousands of people without power. And heading into tomorrow, the wind chill is going to be below zero. So there are still dangerous conditions here throughout the weekend. Wait. All right, Will, thank you. It's Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos. to know what things even are. Shalom, Israel. It's the brother Kadarka Bar here again. And I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in heaven, Yahweh, in His only begotten Son, named Yahweh Shai. Call Hello Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhak Kadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity and peace and blessings to the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Yeah, and as you see in that video, man, I'm sure that everybody's seen it by now. But in that video, you know, over there in Colorado, it was a, a wildfire that, you know, destroyed communities up to a thousand houses, man. You know, and and this is a plague from Yahweh Bashu. I was shot. You know, Yahweh Bashu, I was shot, is visiting this earth, man. He's making his presence being felt through his plagues, man. That he's sending up on this world, man. You Edomites, you so-called white folks, you got a lot coming, man. The, hey, this is just the beginning. You know, all the things that y'all have done to the children of Israel, to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, 
you got a lot to pay for. This is just the beginning. You know, you didn't build up your your so called great kingdom. You didn't built up this wicked ass kingdom, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is throwing it down. You know, he's throwing it down. And he's going to throw it down completely by the way of those nuclear missiles. Where America, this whole continent, this whole country, this whole land is going to be on fire from the nuclear missiles, them thermonuclear missiles that's going to hit this place in World War III. You know. So this is, hey, this is beautiful, man. You know, when we see this happen, man, we don't, I don't feel sorry, not one bit, you know, laughing at you people, man, you know, laughing at you folks, looking for your, your, your destroyed things, <laughs> things that dis are destroyed already, you, you scrabbling around through the debris, looking for things to hold on to, the shit is gone, man. You know, but this is a uh, second Ezra chapter uh, 15, verse five. Behold, said the Lord will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death and destruction. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai brought destruction to them folks in Colorado. And not too long ago, he had the plagues of the other storms, the tornadoes in the Midwest. That tore all them houses up, you know. This is all the this is the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, and this is it's beautiful for us that's in this truth and sincerity, man. It's real beautiful. And we laughing at you folks, man. All the mocking you do, all the shit talking you do, all that pride. All that happiness, all that shit is coming to an end. The water to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah for bringing these plagues up on on this on this uh on this earth. You know, because you people you hey you need to feel the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and the ultimate wrath is gonna come when. Uh, the nuclear missiles are shot off, man. So you people ain't seen nothing yet, man. This is the beginning of sorrows. You know. This is uh, Malachi chapter 4, Salak and Malachi chapter 1, verse 4, and it reads, Whereas Edom, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman and child, the Edomites, let me just say it like that. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. We, meaning the Edomites, not just Esau, we, the Edomites, Edom, the so-called white race. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness because they are the wicked. Job 9 verse 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So they are the wicked. Yes, our people is wicked. And other people from other nations is wicked. But Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is the wicked. That's why I said, uh, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have in the nation forever. So you done built up your your wicked ass so-called great kingdom. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is throwing this motherfucker down, man. Excuse my language. 
but he's throwing he's throwing America down. Slowly, but eventually he's going to throw this place down completely by the way of those nuclear missiles, man. You know, so to see these 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 storms and these fires, you know, to take take out you 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 damn uh Edomites houses to destroy everything that you worked so hard for. Hey, it's, hey, that's beautiful, man. You know? It's real beautiful. This is uh, Job 5, verse 22, and it reads, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. You know? So at destruction and famine, we gonna laugh, man. And what we see concerning, you know, the uh, the tornadoes that uh, that destroy so much in uh in the region of the Midwest, and this this wildfire that happened in Colorado that destroyed up to a thousand homes, as they say, communities. Hey, we laugh at that man. We don't feel sorry for you people. <laughs> Not one bit. We against this kingdom, man. We against this kingdom, man. It says in uh, what, Jeremiah 28, verse 8, that the uh, prophets before me and the prophet, prophets before uh, thee of old prophesied about both against many countries, uh, uh, many kingdoms, you know. And we prophesied against this place, man, you know. We not, we not for this place. We not looking to... Go help you people rebuild your 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 houses and your kingdom. No, we against this place. We 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 with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah to want this place to be destroyed, and it will be. You know, so when we see destruction happening in America, we laughing, we rejoicing. <laughs> you know, put a big smile on my face. See you people scrambling in in the debris, looking for your pictures and whatever you be looking for, man. It's funny, man. Scrambling, looking through all that burnt up stuff, man. Call hello, Yahweh, some Yahweh shot, man. You know, it's beautiful, man. But hey, this is just the beginning. I just wanted, you know touch on that a little bit, you know, just through the spirit, man. And people just have no idea what Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah is about to do to this place. We know, but you people don't. And you people don't believe what we say that's going to happen to this place is going to happen. That's cool, though. Because Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah is going to show you you know that old saying of the world, I can show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> you know, because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is telling you right now through his prophets. He's speaking through his prophets. He's telling you. But guess what? He can show you better than he can tell you. He's going to show you. He's going to perform with what he speaks. And he's speaking through his prophets. And we out there on the highways and byways doing these videos day in and day out, day and night, speaking. The words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And he's going to perform it. You know. This is uh, Psalms 137 verse 8. Because this place America is bound to be destroyed, man, real soon. You know, this is what we're looking forward to, man. We're looking forward to salvation, deliverance from Yahweh Shah when he returned. With the holy angels and the chariots. And we're looking forward to seeing Babylon the Great, America, be destroyed by fire, by the way of those thermonuclear missiles. You know, Psalms 137 verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, America, who art to be destroyed, you're going to be destroyed, America, and you inhabitants that's in this land, man. Because those that don't get beamed up into the chariots, and only the Israelites of the elect can get beamed up into the chariots. 
Only the elect from the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans can't get beaten up into the chariots. And, and, that, and the elect that's here in America, other nation of Israel is going to get beamed up, as well as the uh, rest of the uh, multitude of the elect from the four corners of the earth, you know, as well as the 144,000 elect men from each tribe, 12,000 from each tribe, the, the government body. So, if you're not of the nation of Israel and of the elect of the nation of Israel here in America, you're not going to get beamed up. So, what did that mean for you? You're going to be here in America still watching the elect get taken into, taken up into the uh, chariots. And you're going to be left here to get burnt by the nuclear missiles. You're going to be destroyed right along with America. Psalms 137 verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, America, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So America is going to be destroyed, man. You know, right now, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah just, he beating this place up. He ain't ready. He ain't ready to get his place to KO right now. The knockout. He 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 hitting this place with body uh body blows, you know. He's just beating this place up, man. And it's and it's very exciting to see America just get beat up, <laughs> you know. By the way, of these plagues, man. You know. This is uh, Revelations 18, verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues, her is America. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and, uh, death, mourning, and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. How? By the way of the nuclear missiles. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her, America. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall be well her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning by the way of nuclear missiles. Verse 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, America, that mighty city for for in one hour is thy judgment come. So it's going to take you how about Shemiah was shot one hour to throw this place down completely by the thermal nuclear missiles, man. You know. Hey. And it's beautiful, man. That's what we waiting on. You know. So I just, you know, I want to hit a few scriptures. I ain't intend for this to be that long. So I'm going to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in heaven. Yahweh and his only begotten son name, Yahweh Shah. Call Hala Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak Kadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing. Shalom.